Hi, and welcome to another episode of Encouraging Words. So glad you've joined us today. This is a brief word of encouragement from the Bible. Thank you for watching, and thanks for hitting share. You know, when you hit share, it's one of the simplest ways of sharing your faith and sharing the gospel. It takes less than a second just to hit that share button, and you never know who needs to hear this today. And so uh, thanks for hitting the share button, letting others see it as well. Uh, This week, we're talking about invitations. In John chapter 2, we read that Jesus and his disciples were invited to a wedding. You know, an invitation opens up a whole world of possibilities. Uh, Once you get an invitation, you can choose to go or not to go. You choose to say yes or no. I mean, if you don't get an invitation, you don't have a choice in the matter, do you? You don't get to choose whether you go or not. They didn't invite you. And so we're talking this week mostly about invitations that God extends to us and the possibilities they open up to us. From the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, verses 1 and 2, we read this, Come, all you who are thirsty, come to the waters. And you who have no money, come and buy and eat. Come buy wine and milk without money and without cost. You know, as a pastor, I really, really struggle with making people pay for things that the church puts on. Uh, Years ago, when we were really struggling um, financially, we were not in ministry. The church we were attending put on their annual Christmas banquet. And uh, I think the tickets were something around 10 or $15. Not much considering today how much it would cost. But we simply didn't have the money to go. We just did not have the money. I was working. Elaine was working. But we just couldn't afford even that little amount of money. And um, we had an invitation, but we had to pay to go. And uh, I will say, after saying no to uh, buying tickets, I finally admitted, I said, I can't afford to go. And uh, I believe it was the pastor said to me, well, we'll pay your way. And then I felt like a charity case. And I felt like uh, I I didn't want to accept their charity uh, so I could go to a banquet. And so we said, no, we didn't go to the Christmas banquet this year. And ever since, it's been an issue for me. Um, When we put on concerts in the church for the community, we want the community to come, but we don't want to charge them to come. I believe it's the church people's responsibility to pay extra so that the people in the community can come. That's evangelism. Charging people to evangelize them is crazy in, in my books. That's just my rant for today, but it's 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 just my hang up. And so, uh, you know, forgive me for the rant, but um, this invitation is an invitation to those who are hungry and thirsty. Again, not those who are physically hungry, physically thirsty. This is a spiritual metaphor. Those who are spiritually longing for more and wanting more. Um, God says you can come, you can uh, fill yourself up, you can eat and drink, um, but it's yours for the asking. Uh, you don't have to pay for it. Uh, In fact, uh, later on in the chapter, just a few verses down, the Bible says that if you will respond, you will eat the finest of fare and you will delight in the richest of fare, not in secondhand leftovers, not in, you know, what people aren't using anymore. They'll give to you to use. This is the very best of the best and you don't have to pay for it. It's a crazy offer, but God's love is kind of like that. It is crazy. God extends his love to us without cost, at least not cost to us. He pays the cost. Jesus Christ paid the cost with his life on the cross, but we have the invitation to come freely and indulge in what God has for us. I want to remind you that Jesus' invitation is not a bargaining point. It's not like haggling when you go down to Mexico or someplace where they haggle over the cost. No, it's given to us free of charge. Salvation, grace, forgiveness, freedom, uh, whatever, many other things as well, uh, they're free. 
And um, it's all we have to do. In fact, all we can do is just accept the invitation. The Apostle Paul reminds us in Ephesians chapter 2 that salvation is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. This is not something you can boast about. You can just accept it. It's a free gift that we receive. And we need to remind ourselves God's gifts are not something we earn. They're not something we deserve we get to enjoy the best affair simply by accepting it. And I trust that you've done that already. I trust that you already are in that relationship with God and you understand the free gift of his love and of his grace. Let's pray together. Father, thank you so much for the free gift of salvation. I know it wasn't free. I know that Jesus paid the price and paid the cost for it, but you extend it to us free of charge. And I thank you, God, that we have the opportunity as your servants, as your people, to extend the free gift uh, the free invitation to other people that may have never heard that salvation is there simply for the asking. And so I pray, Father, you'll give us encouragement. I pray that if we've never received that gift ourselves, we would do so today. But I pray as well, God, you would remind us that nobody has to earn their way into the kingdom of God. It's free. And we didn't earn our ways in. We didn't deserve it. But we, you accepted us. And I pray, Father, that we'll have that accepting open heart to receive others into the kingdom of God. May we do so today in the name of our precious Savior, Jesus. Amen. Hey, thank you so much for watching. God bless you. God willing, we'll be back tomorrow with another end of the week, a Friday episode of Encouraging Words. So glad you've joined us. Continue to pray uh, for the United States and for uh, the things that are going on down there. Uh, it's, it's shocking to watch, but we pray God's best for them and God's wisdom on the leaders. Have a great day. God bless you.